yeah, in no uncertain terms, I would be dead if it weren't for Fred's. It's been really good. Um, got my mental health back and all that. I got my happy, happiness back. Yeah. Come here is a quiet place to sit and uh, just, you know, potter around the garden and be close to nature. First step is to walk in the door and say hello. You know, and they'll, they'll embrace you with love. It's as simple as that. Fred's Place is a homeless hub here in Tweed Heads. You know, we're working on the front line with people that are really facing so much trauma. And predominantly those people are sleeping rough. They don't have houses. Um, they don't have anywhere that's safe for them to call home. They are sleeping in things like squats, the parks, you know, really rough sleeping and doing it tough. It provides a safe environment for people to come that are living on the streets or at risk of homelessness to get food, access to food. We see about 130 people per morning here, so from 8.30 to 12.30. On site we provided 27,200 meals um, for the year and then we do takeaway meals as well which is pretty much the same because nearly everybody that comes to the service will have food while they're here and then they'll take something away for later for dinner or for lunch. You can come here, have a shower, do your laundry, have a feed, be in a safe environment and have um, support structures in, in place. They've done so much for me. It's just endless, endless what they've done for me. I've been here nearly four years and yeah, it's been a struggle for me and this is my safe place. We bring services to the people that access our site. We have the New South Wales uh, mental health outreach team come here three days a week. So that uh, team consists of a psychiatrist, a social worker and a nurse. Uh, we also have drug and alcohol treatment programs that come here and we have the needle syringe program. Everything's here and that's why people come in, they can access food. They don't have to worry about where they're going to get food from and then they can look at the next steps like am I ready to address a, a, an alcohol problem or a drug problem and if they are then we've got the person right here right now that's ready to talk to you and help you get through that. There's no wrong door policy and um, which is great because many services do have that so I feel that it's, it's a really great place to come whenever there's any matter um, because Fred's Place will get you onto the right people and look after you in that way. Fred's is the place they know they can all come and get a fair go. Young people at risk, older Australians struggling, uh, people with housing issues, uh, people with mental health issues and people disengaged from the services that could be providing that help. So this is, this is the place where they can come and access those services. So the ultimate goal is to get people off the street and into housing when they come through. It's really important that we, that we treat people with the respect and dignity that they deserve um, and try and make sure that uh, um, all their needs are met. I was given like dignity packs. If you don't know what dignity packs are, it's like where you get toiletries and soaps and self-care products, especially as a female, you know? Um, you're given basics like some clean clothes, underwear. They just make you actually feel human again and acceptable and, and respectable. They also linked me with every possible support that was pivotal um, uh, to my improvement. Fred's Place doesn't receive any government funding, so we rely completely on donations, completely on our CEO sleep out in Sydney, which is our big sleep out, and then locally in Tweed Heads, we have our own community sleep out, which we hold over at Seagulls. And basically that's the, the money that keeps these services going. Um, and community donations, people will drop in food parcels, things like that, and that's what keeps our hub spaces going. Fred's Place, yeah, they're like my family. You always feel safe and secure. Well, you know, if you need a hand, just, just call in. It's, it's, it's that simple. It's good to come in for the mental health and have a bit of the yarn. People are doing it tough. They're sleeping out there rough. They're going through some terrible experiences. And if we can make their life just a little bit easier for today, then I think that's what we're here for.